What's happening friends, Don here once again with Trotec Laser. This is a very special video in honor of the Easter season. We're gonna look at if we can laser engrave and cut eggs. It's really exciting. Let's get cracking. As you can see, we've gathered together a number of different eggshells, which have all been hollowed out prior to shooting. We have ostrich eggs, brown eggs, white eggs, as well as a couple of white eggs that have been colored in the spirit of the holiday. To increase our overall stability during laser processing, we've also melted some wax pellets and injected the liquid wax into our empty shells. Once hardened, the wax will provide us a much more durable surface to work with, and we won't have to worry so much about damage or cracking during the testing process. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. We're running a Speedy 360 at 100% power and 40 speed with 1000 Hz at 333 dpi. We're going to be using a rotary and a 2.5 inch lens in order that we can cleanly engrave the surface of our egg while clearing the cones of the rotary. As you can see, the engraving process for our brown eggs has been an outstanding success with a super clean and high contrast result. Now let's run the same process on a white eggshell. Despite using the same parameter settings, our white eggshell has given us a somewhat brownish marking, although the clarity and high contrast remain consistent. Now let's try a white egg that has been dyed blue. The resulting wet engraving is most likely due to the abrasion of the laser removing the layer of dye on the shell's surface, although it delivers a result that is no less detailed and beautiful. Now let's take things a step further by trying to engrave an ostrich egg. We've chosen to use the same settings as our smaller eggs, although we've doubled our DPI to 600. We've also scaled up our setup to a 4 inch lens. As you can see, we had our focus slightly incorrect on our first pass, resulting in some black spotting on the surface of the egg. To correct that, we've adjusted the Z height while still engraving until we could locate the exact result we're looking for. In order to remove the black spotting from our first pass, we then reset our focus to our newfound ideal Z height and run a second one. It can be very difficult to find the perfect focus point on an object with this much curvature, which is specifically why we've chosen to use a 4 inch lens, which provides a much greater overall tolerance. As you can see, our second pass has brightened the resulting engraving considerably, resulting in a stunning, almost silver effect. The egg was later dyed using the same blue coloring as our smaller eggs, and surprisingly, the dye did not penetrate our ablated design, resulting in an unexpectedly beautiful final piece. Finally, it's important that we know whether these eggshells can be as cleanly cut as they can be engraved. For this test, we've chosen a speedy 360 80 watt, running at 15% power and 2% speed. Here again, we're using our rotary attachment and a 2.5 inch lens, cutting a very basic circle and square pattern around the circumference of our egg. Initial results were very encouraging. Although the resultant pieces had to be carefully popped out, the overall cut was decent, despite some slight charring around the edges. We chose not to use the wax filled eggs for this, for fear that the added heat while cutting might melt the wax. Unfortunately, our second attempt was not so successful. We've used the same graphic, although in a more complex, layered pattern. However, as you can see, the pressure of the rotary without the wax inside, along with the overall reduction in stability on account of our cuts, caused the egg to collapse. With that in mind, in our next test, we've removed the rotary and placed the egg flat on our laser bed. This test was conducted on a speedy 400 120 watt, running at 70% power and 5% speed, with 1000 Hz and two passes per cut line. We've used a standard 2 inch lens here, and the initial results were promising. We were even able to flip the egg over to cut the same pattern again on the opposite side for a more polished final design.
Finally, we've given it one last try, once again filling the egg with wax, letting it solidify, and then cutting it with a little bit less power and one additional pass. Although it does melt and leak from our shell, we discovered that the wax actually absorbs excess laser power and doesn't seem to interfere with our cut process. This leaves us with great overall stability and the possibility for higher detailed cuts. We then removed the wax from inside the egg using a large tank of hot wax and decorated the final product using metallic spray paint for a truly standout piece. Thank you so much for watching. Our best to you and yours during the Easter season, and obviously a huge thank you to our friends at Trotec Laser USA and Laser Dave. Take care, we'll see you next time.